What's going on? Welcome on into the TC Trading Channel. Uh, I want to make a quick video, super quick tutorial going over how to create an OCO order here on Weeble. A OCO order, for those who are not familiar, is a one cancels the other order. And so the reason why I'm making this video and the reason why I think it's important to do this is because what we are looking at right now is an open position. I have one contract left. I've taken the rest of my contracts off, but I want to have, I want to walk away. I want to leave the computer, right? And so in the past, it wasn't possible or like, you know, you kind of like are scratching your head. Well, how do I do that? How do I, how do I like walk away? Because I want to have a stop loss, but I also want to have a take profit. So an OCO is going to be able to solve that problem. And we will, uh, I believe is somewhat complicated on the desktop version to figure this out. It's actually fairly straightforward on the app. And if you want a video of how to do this on the app, I can make one. But when you go into the desktop, you'll have a bunch of options and there's a couple ways to do it. The easiest way that I have found and just the most logical way is going to be on the open position. So for example, I have an option position right here. So I'm looking at QQQ. I played the breakout to the upside today and now I'm in an option and I have an entry here at 130 at 337 and it's now up, you know, well over 10, it's up 15%. So I'm looking good, but I want to put a take profit at my ultimate target of the day, which is around 375 on the stock, which I'm going to guesstimate will put us around 420 or so on the option, maybe more. Um, I'm going to put a sell at 420, but I also want to have a stop loss for my contract at break even. So I don't want to lose. Like I've already locked in gains here. So on my last, you know, contract, I want to put the stop loss to break even and have also a take profit at 420. But if I walk away and one of those hits, I don't want the other order to stay open. Okay. And that's what we're talking about. So I'm going to click on my position. Okay. You can go out and do this a couple ways, but when you click on your position, it'll give you options to close this position, trade details, rolling orders, go to close position. Now on the right hand side, you'll see close in order entry, close by a market order, close by a limit order, or close by a stop loss, take profit. That's what I want. Okay. I want to have both click on that. Now, here we go. So I'm going to set my stop price to the price that I'm currently trading it at, or that's currently trading at. And I'll try to zoom in here so you guys can see this better. Um, so that'll be that. So that'll be an estimated PL of $0, meaning it will stop me out at break even. And I want to have a limit price at, I'm I'm calling 420 is the spot that I'm looking for. I'm going to guesstimate based on the premiums, based on the contracts uh, or the price action, that that will be around where my, my target's going to be on when, if QQQ gets 375. Either it's going to stop me out and come back down below like 373, or it's going to go to 375 at this point in time. Okay. Either one, I want to be, I want all my position to be closed out when one or the other hits, whoever hits first done. So when I do this good till cancel, doesn't really matter. I'm going to put for day cause it's going to be canceled by the end of the day. Anyway, I'll come back to the desk at some point today to close this out. If it, if it's not, if neither of these numbers hit by the end of the day. Okay. So now I'm going to do that. Watch the screen. So now we can see that we have a stop loss at my break even and our upper bound target at 420. So now I could walk away from the screen, right? No matter how much of a position I had, I can walk away from the screen and I can let this work. This last contract work. It's a great way to when you have, this is something I, I've had problems in the past where you're, a trade's going your way. The trend is still up. The trend is your friend, right? But you know, you're, 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 you're pro, you, you gotta, you gotta go. You've been here for two hours. You're like, oh, I gotta go. I, I want to do something else. And so do this, close out your platform, walk away, and now it'll do its job. And it doesn't really matter what happens. It'll just hit one of these numbers and then you'll be out of the position. So that's the plan or that's the plan for me. Hope this video helped. If you got any questions, leave them down below. We can make more videos going forward, but that's how to create an OCO order on Weeble desktop. In this case, we use an option example, but again, it can work for shares just the same way. Any links and resources will be linked up in the description box down below. Also, if you're watching this video early on and posting it, Weeble is giving away 12 free fractional shares when you deposit $100 into Weeble, and they're also paying 5% APY on your cash right now. So if you don't have an account yet or you want to get signed up or you got a friend, then that link to Weeble will be linked up in the description box down below. Thanks so much. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.